So we're going to break this down into three steps. All right. Confidence, discipline, and consistency. Now, first thing, confidence. You need to have confidence in your life, you know. If you don't have confidence in your life, you're not going to make it. Simple as that. It can be from the smallest thing, from my plan of sport, or a job interview. If you don't have confidence in either of those things, or just life in general, you will not make it. Why? Because there's going to be people that are going to be more confident in you, people who are going to believe in themselves more, and they're going to trust themselves more. And they're going to feel more comfortable in these situations in you. Let's say you're not that confident. You're going to fold. You're going to get nervous. You're going to get anxious. And nobody wants that as a person. I'm being here to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you or say anything. That's going to happen. You know, people don't want somebody who's not, who's uncomfortable, who's nervous, who's anxious, who is shy. Now, confidence. It's a hard thing to, it's a hard thing to increase. You know, it can, it can go down, it can go up and it's okay. You know, you're not always going to have confidence. You're not always going to have this and that. But this is a way to increase your confidence. Now, first thing, start working out, start going to the gym, start doing something productive, you know, start focusing on something else, you feel me? And once you start focusing on that certain subject, start start trusting yourself and doing that that thing or that thing that, that you're focused on, you know? And simple as that. It's really easy. Now, again, confidence. It's it's a really wide thing and really wide range of things to talk about. But when it comes to specific things, confidence is really just trusting yourself. So make sure in whatever aspect you're doing, when it comes to a job interview, uh, this and that, a sport you're going to play, make sure you trust yourself for it. And how can you trust yourself for this assignment? You have to prepare yourself. And how do you prepare yourself? By working hard, by working at this simple assignment and thing every day by just doing it. Now, at first, is it going to be a little bit uncomfortable? Yes, and that's okay. That's normal. It's life. You're going to you're gonna be uncomfortable about something that you're not, you know, that you don't know what to do. You've only started doing it, and that's okay. But over time, you're going to get more comfortable in it, and you're going to trust yourself more in this assignment or this, this, this task that you're doing. You feel me? So back into it, confidence. Confidence is a big thing. If you go into that job interview, you make sure you have confidence. And how do you how do you get confidence in that job interview? Trust yourself in it. Go to go to job go go do a lot of job interviews. Go have your fan interview. Go do something public. You know, it's 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 really basic, but it's really hard at the same time. And why it's really hard at the same time is because mentally, bro, it is all mentally. You know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect. I struggle with a lot of stuff too, but. What I learned from my mistakes and all life and all this stuff, even though I'm a young person, it's really all comes out mentally. If you're confident mentally, you you achieve life 90% done. It's 95%. It's just confidence in your mentality and your brain and making sure you know what you're doing. So, again, a way to get confidence is trusting yourself more, putting yourself in these situations more, and just being more comfortable in these situations. Like, for example, I'm going to say an example from my life, something that I struggled with. Something that I struggled with was basketball. I started playing basketball late and I and I didn't have confidence because everybody was better than me. I would play, I would do bad, I wouldn't make shots, I would get made fun of, I would be called trash. And I started late, you know, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared to compare to the other players, you know, the other players were prepared, or prepared, and they knew what they were doing. Now me, somebody who started playing basketball late, I wasn't prepared. I didn't know what I was doing. So I was I was confused. I wasn't comfortable. I was not trusting myself. You know, that's that is the main when it comes to the main definition of confidence, bro, it is just having trusting yourself and being comfortable in these situations to the point where you're calm, relaxing, you know what you're doing. Why wasn't I prepared? Why wasn't I confident in basketball? Because I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't comfortable in it. I wasn't in playing along. I did not have that experience. You know, that's another thing too. It's experience and being comfortable. Like when I'm saying back from the job interview, you have to put yourself through these situations so you get comfortable in it. You know, you're like, I've already done this before. I know what's going to happen. I know what I'm going to expect. Now for me, when it was for basketball, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I didn't know what to expect because I started late. You know, and, it, and, and at first I didn't know that. I was like, I was struggling, you know, I was only playing for like a month and still I was getting nervous. I was like, what is wrong with me? I have a problem. I'm a nervous person, this and that. And no, it's not that. I just, I wasn't comfortable with myself and I was, I didn't have the experience for this to happen. And that's pretty much it. It's simple. And over time, you're going to develop this confidence and this experience and you're going to be more comfortable in yourself. And that's it. It's really it. But the first step you got to take is putting yourself out there, you know, because if you're going to keep living in fear, keep being scared. Keep being nervous. Keep being anxious. Now take that first step to get comfortable. You're always going to be scared and anxious. Nobody's going to do it for you, you know. Somebody might say, oh, but you got this is part of the process. And it is, and it's true. What that person is saying is true, bro. But at the end of the day, it depends on you, not them. 
you because then they got nothing to do with your life maybe a little bit but it comes to you how you feel you know you're not gonna feel like how they feel maybe for a little bit maybe you got might get a little bit of confidence boost but after a while that's gonna it's gonna go away it's gonna go away you know you have it's you you have to go out there and put yourself out in that situation you know that's what i had to do for basketball i was struggling for a really long time for months 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 i was struggling for months almost like almost a year almost years you know and i was like what do i do and then I was I started watching YouTube videos. I started you know researching, and like the actual like the scientific all that mental stuff, which I'm not that smart in. You know, obviously I obviously don't know that much. But when it comes down like the brief aspect of it, which is being comfortable in these situations and trusting yourself and knowing that I've been here before, I know what I'm doing. There's no reason to be nervous. You know, and that's one thing. I was like, you know what? That's it. I just haven't gotten as much experience as the other players. You know, that's why these players are playing so good and all this because they're comfortable. They've been put through. Three situations again and again and again and i was like you know what at first i didn't want to take the first step at first i didn't want to go play with other people you know because what i did i would avoid playing with other people i would get nervous i would do this and that because I, I was scared i wasn't confident i didn't trust myself and i wasn't i didn't have that experience you feel me so what i did i was like you know what i don't want to live like this anymore i'm going to put myself out there and did it take time yes because i was scared and did i let fear take me unfortunately yes and did i waste time yes but it is what it is again another thing too is you cannot let fear control your life you cannot let fear control your life at all because fear will take you down it will fake you make you less confident you gotta beat fear you gotta look at it in the eye and be like you know what i ain't messing with it today and that's all you do you feel me that's all you do you know it's it's really simple but it, and mentally your mind is going to make it hard. Sometimes you really got to, what I would do, I was like, you know what? I got to ignore my mind. I got to just do this and get this over with or just do this and, you know, so I can feel better, you know? So I'm not going to drag this video very long. But the first thing that, we, you know, I'm explaining to you guys is that you need for your life is confidence. Second thing we talk about is discipline. Now, let's say you have confidence, right? You achieve that part of confidence, whatever, you know, you're good. A good job. I'm proud of you. Now it's discipline. Discipline, it just going every day and having the discipline to do the work you know i gotta do this every day i gotta do this at this time at this time can't be late you know it's like going to school going to work it's discipline you know you gotta do this if you want to get better or want to achieve something you have to be disciplined you have to, something you have to do consistently and every day right and we'll get more into consistent later but it's discipline you know going to work i have to be disciplined to get up i have to do it's like it's, it's also like doing stuff that you don't want to do there are stuff that you have to do but you don't want to do that's discipline now you can be the most confident person, but if you're not disciplined, it's not going to work out. Why? Because eventually there's going to be people who are confident and who are disciplined and who are going to overall do better than you and work harder than you. And they're going to take your spot. And once they take your spot, they're going to feel less confidence and everything's going to go back down. This is why I'm saying three steps, because if you do one of them and you mess out on the other one, it's not going to work out. You got to do all these three, all these three steps together. So discipline, I'm going to get straight into it. The first thing, whatever you do and be disciplined. If you have to do this, uh, this task, whatever, go do it. Don't procrastinate. Don't think about it. Go do it. You procrastinate, you think about it. Oh, should I do it tomorrow? No, just like it doesn't, it doesn't work out. It doesn't help out. Go do it. Go get up. Go do your thing. Now, I'm not saying again, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I make mistakes. I procrastinate. Maybe after this video, I'm going to procrastinate too. You know, I might be thinking about it. And that's okay. You know, we're human. We make mistakes. But at least, you know, we're, we're knowing that, like, you know what, man, we're not being disciplined. You know, you're telling, you're talking to your inner self. You're being, you know what? I'm not being disciplined. You know, I'm not, I'm not standing on what I said. I'm not standing on business. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? And at least it's something that you know you're doing, you know? Like, I'm not being disciplined. I got to focus back. I got to start being disciplined. Like, for example, and I'm going to relate it to, I'm going to relate this to a situation that happened a couple of days ago. I wasn't posting as many videos, right? I want to be a content creator. I want to blow up. You know, I want to be able to make enough money where I don't need to go to college. You know, want to have a live a good life. You know, all right, back into it. So I noticed I didn't want to make, I wasn't making videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm not being disciplined. No, I'm not being, because I'm confident in my videos. When I talk in my videos, I'm confident. You know, I, I say what I say and I don't let people like drag my opinion. You know, and that's, and that's, that's a good thing. But I was like, you know what? I'm not being, I'm not being, I'm not being disciplined. There's people out here who probably want the same thing as me and they're being more disciplined as me. And they might get it. They might get it because they're just more disciplined. And I was like, you know what? If I really want this, if I want to blow up, 
I don't want to go to college. I want to have nice things, nice cars. I have to be disciplined. I have to do it. It doesn't matter if I'm tired. It doesn't matter if I'm sick, this or that. If I if I keep sitting in my bed thinking about it, it's going to get nothing done. There's going to be people, there's going to be people ahead of me, people who are going to be doing better than me. You know, and it's okay. People are doing better than me right now, and it's okay. But right now, when you're, when people are, you know, I'm on my come up, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to blow up and do all this stuff, you know, you have to be disciplined, you know. You have to really, you know, capitalize off what you do. So, quick summary. You have to be disciplined in the stuff you do. You have to just get it. Stop procrastinating. And start thinking about it and just get it done. Because you're thinking about it, laying down, sitting down, doing whatever. It's not going to help anything about it. So, two things you talk about. Confidence and discipline. Now, let's get to the last one. The last thing I'm going to be talking about is consistency. Now, if you have these three things, confidence, discipline, and consistency. I don't know how to say that word. My fault. If you have those three things. You will make it in life. You will make it far. Now, you will make it. You might not be a billionaire or millionaire, but you will have some type of success. And I promise you that. Now, why are you going to have these success? The success is because this is a thing that it's, it's really crucial for anybody. For something that like a skill that everybody needs and something that people, you know, demand. Somebody that is confident, believes in themselves trust themselves, somebody who is disciplined, does his work when, when he does it, does it on time, somebody who's consistent, he shows up every day and he puts in the work, he's consistent, doesn't miss a day, doesn't miss a deadline, doesn't miss anything, people, this, this, people are going to like you more, and I'm not saying that do it for other people, do it for this person, do it for your boss, but it, it, people will like you more and you will get more successful and people will come to you more, you know, more approachment shifts, you know, just whatever in general. Now, let's get more into consistency. Now, Consistency is just showing up every day or showing up this amount of time and doing this, you know, like, for example, my videos, you know, three to five videos every week. That's consistency, you know, doing it every time, every week, doing three to five videos, you know, that's consistency. Going to work. I go to work every day on time. Consistency. That's good. That's what consist consistency is, you know, just doing this, doing something every time, repeatedly, 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 you know, you're not slacking, you're not falling back. And it, and it has to do with discipline too, you know, discipline and consistency are like right there. They're, they're, they're together, you know, they're, it's like almost the same thing, but they do have a little bit of differences, you know. But the summary of this, man, you, right now, whatever you want to be, be honest, be honest with yourself. You're like, am I being consistent? Am I doing this every day? Am I doing, um, or not every day, just, you know, just being like, am I doing this like the days I have to, you know, the three to five times, you know, a week three to five times this amount of time, whatever, whatever. Am I doing this? Am I consistent? Am I showing in? And am I putting in the work? If you're not doing it, sit back and talk to yourself about it. Be like, you know what? I'm not being consistent. If I want this, if I want all these nice things, all these cars, all this jewelry, whatever you want, and you're not being consistent, you're not going to make it there. It's simple as that. I, you know, I don't, you can argue with me in the comments. I'm not going to reply back because I don't care. But again, you, if you're not consistent, you will not make it. It is simple as that, you know. Now, let's say you're confident and you're disciplined and you're not consistent. You're still going to make it. Now, I know I just said confidence and discipline, you know, like, I mean, not confidence and discipline. Consistency and discipline are like the two two things combined together. But still, you take one out, it's going to feel weird. You know, that's it's not going to be balanced. It's not going to be a balanced scale, you know. So the summary of this, man, of the, of this part that I'm talking about is consistency if you're showing up every time putting in the work doing this every every week every day every minute i don't know whatever task you're showing it you're putting it in just know you're doing good and you're and you're, you're on the right path so the summary of this video is confidence discipline and consistency you have those three things you will be successful in life guaranteed thing you know and we're not perfect it, is it a hard thing to do hard thing to do yes you know Am I still working on it? Am I going to work on it after this video? Did I struggle with it before? Yes, that's okay. We're human. We make mistakes. You know, I'm not expecting you guys to go after this video, go be perfect and go, and go do all this stuff. And, you know, it's going to happen. You know, another thing too is you have to be patient. You know, if you're being confident, consistent and disciplined, you're doing good. Just be patient and your time will come. You know, my time hasn't come too yet. And I know it's going to come. Why? Because I'm confident. I'm, I have confidence in myself. I'm confident in myself, my fault, and I'm just staying patient. 
and I'm working hard. I'm not trying to rush anything. Now, are there times where I get impatient? I want to blow up quick, you know? Yes, obviously, you know, I want to, who doesn't want to blow up quick? But, you know, but I got to understand, I got to understand too. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen quick for me, you know, and it's okay. It's all right. I just got to be patient and I know it's going to come. So, man, that's pretty much what I got for today, man. CDC, just always remember that whenever you're struggling with CDC, there's going to be ups and downs. It's okay. I'm going to have ups and downs too. I'm going to have stuff in my life that happens. You might have stuff in your life that happens, and that's okay, you know? As long as we capitalize off that and just get better every day, man, we're doing good, and you're doing good, man. Appreciate you for watching this video, man. If you enjoyed it, go subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video, bro. Peace.